Hello from Sweden and welcome to this reading. Destiny will bring you this. And I have prepared three different piles with oracle cards. The one that you feel the most drawn to will be your reading today. As you can see, we're also using different tarot decks in each of the piles. And pile number one also has this card. Pile number two has this card. And pile number three has this card. Okay, that is the options for today's reading. If you need more time, you can pause the video. Otherwise, you can scroll down to the commentary section where you will find the timestamps. And I will see you guys in your separate readings. Hello, pile one, and welcome to your reading. So let's just put your tarot deck to the side. And let's start here with your oracle cards to see what destiny will bring you. And uh, we're gonna start with the card you felt drawn to. We're gonna peel off the little tape. And we have Express. So there's a moon and a rabbit. And I think it's a blackbird. <laughs> yeah, a very strange card. Express, kind of like... Yeah, the rabbit is really safe here, resting on the moon. Hmm. Let's turn it around. Let's read the message. Sometimes we are unable to move forward because of creative blocks holding, holding back or ever-expanding ideas. Release them and express yourself in ways you have never done before. Try creating a piece of artwork in a medium new in a medium new to you. No one else will see it, so let your artistry flow. Affirmation, I move past blocks in beautiful ways. Moving past creative blocks, expressing yourself. Okay. Hmm. Let's see how this has to do with your destiny. Destiny will bring you this wisdom. Beautiful card here. Mm, with a mermaid. Okay, a lot of blue. Wisdom. You have meditation. Mm. Connection. The moon here also makes me feel of connection. You're resting so beautifully here. The rabbit is resting so beautifully here on the moon. And the blackbirds, you know. Blackbirds are a sign of transformation and death. They can even come as a warning that something is about to transform or change. And But here everything seems very, very peaceful. Meditation, wisdom. Hmm. Let's see here. Self-believing and beyond. Believing in yourself. Flying with the kite here. Flying high. Castles in the sky. Dreams can hang in the balance. Sometimes dangling on a... <laughs> Castles in the sky, dreams can hang in the balance, sometimes dangling on barely a thread. Hmm. Believing in yourself, you're expressing yourself. Destiny will force you out of your shell. Destiny will bring, but it bring you something, something that forces you out of your shell. Wisdom and meditation. Hmm. Hmm. Believe, self-believing and beyond. We have restore balance. Wow, beautiful card. This old wise woman here, the hedgehog. Yeah, hedgehog, you know. They're so kind, they're so soft <laughs> on the kind of the stomach. But then they have the spikes and if like they feel threatened, they roll up into this bowl, ball and the, the spikes are like kind of protecting them. So I feel like destiny will bring you something that puts, takes you out of your shell, even kind of your comfort zone. Uh, yeah, your comfort zone. I feel, kind of feels like you're hiding in some, you, maybe you created some kind of safety net or some safety, or you put up some walls around you. I keep feeling like destiny will bring you out of this somehow. Bring you this. Bring Something is coming to grab you, <laughs> grab you and force you kind of more. I wouldn't say force you because force you sounds like 
sounds like something negative and I feel like this is very positive so kind of like you are getting like a new role or you're getting like a promotion and all of a sudden you have to connect with people you have to talk to people you know you have to do things you haven't done before somehow coming out coming coming out express because I feel like you I feel like there's there could be like a lot of introverts in pile number one like you're comfortable kind of maybe in your own energy and but maybe not sharing your gifts maybe not showing yourself I feel like this is uh, I feel like this is changing hmm and this feels like something is coming to get you so you're not the it kind of feels like you are not you're not it's not it doesn't feel like you are going to leave your comfort zone by yourself because I feel like you're pretty comfortable there but it kind of feels like something is coming maybe it's an offer an offer that comes like I said maybe you get promoted and all of a sudden you have a you you have to work with the team or maybe you, you're doing something and you have to work with a team and uh, yeah hmm wisdom and meditation hmm you're very connected and I feel like you have some gifts you have some gifts and uh, yeah you're keeping them to yourself <laughs> it feels like you're keeping keeping a lot of your gifts to yourself hmm uh, out of comfort maybe maybe just because it's I don't know I don't know actually restore balance look at this white hair you have here you're so full of wisdom so full of wisdom and uh, hmm something keeps you hmm let's see let's see the last two cards divine intervention yeah oh my god come on <laughs> i felt like something was coming and getting something is coming to get you get ready for a miracle you're in the midst of divine intervention yeah something is going to come <laughs> something is going to be brought to you that is kind of helping you to bloom to blossom to bloom and to blossom to grow and i feel like you have been growing like a lot lot but you it kind of feels like Many of you, maybe you have been growing, but you've been doing it here. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it the cave, but like kind of like you've been, I don't, I wouldn't even call it hiding, but just like comfortable in your own energy. Maybe not so open to new things or kind of, I don't know, certain boundaries or walls that you have built for yourself. You don't really cross those that often. <laughs> and somehow it feels like it's like time for you to expand. Yeah, it's time for you to expand and grow in a new way. So destiny will bring you a divine intervention here. And actually something that's gonna lure you out. Yeah, we have this we have the mermaid here. <laughs> so you know siren is calling you. Something is luring you out. And it's going to be something that you like, of course, because you're not easy to, it feels like you, it's not easy to make you do something that you don't want. And that's, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> means you have integrity. So, but something is going to call you here and say, hey, and you're like, oh, I, I would like to do this. And it's going to push you into some kind of growth and uh, share, share your self, share your wisdom, share your connection, fly high here with a kite you know, flying higher, self-believing and beyond. It's going to strengthen your confidence. It's going to get you to know yourself in a new way. Nobody grows, you know, growth doesn't happen in our comfort zone. Growth happens when we are put in uncomfortable situations or when we are doing something completely new, you know, we're feeling lost. It's like, yeah, I've never done this before. So yeah, that is when we are growing. So yeah, I feel like it's time for you to grow. Restore balance also feels like taking your power back by taking your divine rightfully divine place in the world because i don't feel like you're meant to hide or kind of be in the corner you know nobody <laughs> puts baby in the corner like if you've seen dirty net dancing you're not meant to be kind of in the corner but somehow it feels like you're comfortable there i feel like maybe you don't want to be on stage maybe you don't want to uh i don't know be more expansive and so it kind of feels like you are like the, the like the hedgehog like somehow you're making your can it be that you're making your own life a bit smaller because it's more comfortable to be in that little box that you have created for yourself it's a beautiful box and you know you are connected you are in you know, meditation it feels like you have connection and it feels like you are have many good things there but 
somehow taking your power back by also stepping out of outside that box and growing even more there's some growth here that needs to happen i feel P taking your power back restoring some kind of balance because look how this old woman is just like very confidently looking us straight in the eyes with her big white hair here <laughs> showing you know her wisdom her wisdom hmm. showing the world your wisdom divine a lot of divine here divine perception the angels are directing you to perceive the situation from a higher state of consciousness. Wow, look at this beautiful blue eye. So yeah, divine perception, divine intervention. Yeah, there, it's kind of like your destiny is going to bring you something that lures you out of your shell. You're going to like it because you're going to grow a lot. It's going to be something completely new on your path. It's going to open up. Hi, you're going to see your life in a higher way. You're going to understand things from a new way. It's like a very... It's time. Destiny will bring you the next chapter. Yeah, the next chapter. And the next chapter is for you to expand and grow. Expand and grow. Breathe. Break free. Break from beneath the water surface and soar up beyond the turquoise sea. Oh, wow, I didn't see that. It didn't have to focus. Let's see here. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> Oh yeah, it doesn't work. Oh yeah, no. So anyways, it's just <laughs> words. So break free from beneath the water's surface and soar up beyond, beyond the turquoise sea. So yeah, you're, you're coming from below. You're coming. And I don't feel like you're in a bad place. I feel like you have made it cozy for yourself. Yeah, it's cozy there. <laughs> and you have nice things and nice things going for you. But I feel like you, there's more. I feel like there is more on, in your destiny. There's more in your destiny than to kind of kind of you you. It's like you're going. It's, it's like sharing yourself a bit more with the world by taking a bigger place in your external life in some way. Hmm. And kind of like breaking down certain walls, walk, stepping outside of them, and or your wisdom. I keep hearing like your wisdom is meant to be shared, expressed. Yeah, your wisdom is meant to be expressed, meant to be shared. We read the card in the back side. It was had something with blockages. I move past blocks in beautiful ways. So yeah, anything that is kind of... I think introvert is also a personality, you know, it is, you know, being introvert. But there is also like sometimes being introvert can also be, you know, uh, hmm. like uh, it's more comfortable not to deal with people <laughs> because people can be difficult <laughs> so it can be like a balance there between what is actually uh, comes from maybe worries and what comes from actually you know being a personality that actually needs a lot of time for for yourself like being an introvert so I feel like kind of like restore balance yeah there is like I feel like many of you are a bit introverted and maybe a lot even, but I also feel like certain things that you don't do don't come from a place of kind of being introvert, but more like it's more, it's easier to be by yourself maybe, or easier to avoid certain things. You doesn't even have to be introverted. Maybe you're just avoiding certain things. And I feel like, I somehow it feels like Whatever is coming here, giving you this offer, somehow it feels like you're even jumping over this. I don't know how that's going to happen. It's like whatever was in your way, you're taking a big, big jump over it. And divine and you're getting some help to get rid of something on your path. Yeah, breathe. It's going to, because I feel like I keep feeling like expanding. You're meant to expand and grow. So it's going to give you room for breathing. It's going to give you room. So you're jumping over something as well. Hmm. Very interesting. So let's look at your tarot cards. <laughs> Breathe. Yeah, let's do one more shuffle. Like that. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Knight of Wands. Wow. Fire. Hmm. Okay, let's see here. Knight of Wands. Wow. <laughs> Eight of Wands. Woo, wow, wow, wow. This is interesting. What's going on here? A lot of fire, a lot of movement. A lot of movement. These two cards are kind of the two together with a chariot. I think those three is the cards, the really is the fast moving cards in the deck. Maybe Knight of Swords as well. But these two, and this one, 
This one runs this way and this one goes this way. Hmm. I feel like I feel like this is the blockage Knight of Wands. I don't know why. I feel like this Knight of Wands is like a. I would say I, would, I wanted to say scaring you, but yeah, maybe that's not right. But like kind of like Knight of Wands. Somehow you're jumping over this. Hmm. Let's see what else we got here. Queen of Swords. Yeah, look at that. Wow, divine intervention. Divine, I'm saying divine intervention. Destiny will bring you this. Let's put the breed card. Yeah, where should we keep it? Let's just, let's just keep it here. So yeah, Queen of Swords. Knight of Swords. Wow, <laughs> only chariot missing here and you're going to be moving like really fast speed. King of Cups. Wow. I feel like you're growing to become very, very, very wise, a wise leader, a wise spiritual teacher, just a very wise, compassionate person. And you are, if you keep hearing like, yeah, you, you're not going to, you're not supposed to hide, you know, your gifts. You're not supposed to hide your wisdom. Once again, it's meant to be shared. But there is something, there has been something that's been holding you back. Something fiery, something fiery and unbalanced. It kind of has been... I keep hearing scaring you, but I kind of feel like that's maybe not the right word. Word, something kind of pushing you to stay in your comfort zone, and I feel like destiny will bring you, like I said, this offer, this thing. Somehow you're gonna jump over this without even like knowing that that is what you did. <laughs> yeah, so they're helping you overcome something that uh, you. I don't know if you. It feels like you're a bit stuck somewhere, and because you, and I feel like. I don't know why, but I keep feeling like they are going to remove this blockage for you. Because, you know, many times we say, yeah, we have to do something. You have to do this. You have to take this action. But this time, you know, with divine intervention, really showing like they are coming here. Your guides, the universe is coming here to help you remove this and move you. Move you because I feel like you're once again, you're going somewhere. You have probably some kind of mission to fulfill when it comes to your wisdom, sharing your wisdom, sharing your voice, your energy, your connection, meditation, there's some connection that you have. You have some, yeah, some, some, some emotional, spiritual connection. And there's some something that you have to give. And it's time now to do that, time to give that. So yeah, Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords. It's like they're fighting even, you know, or a, a, like, kind of like, Attacking a problem, attacking a blockage, and removing that from your life. And woof, off you go. <laughs> off you go, and all of a sudden you're like, oh, how did I end up here? And you're doing something completely new, and you're growing, and you know, confidence is growing, and everything is like feeling very good for you. Very good for you. King of Cups, I feel like a high, very high potential for you to really, really like feel comfortable in a place where you weren't comfortable before. Comfortable in your own skin, but kind of in a new way, like in a more expansive and open way. So I feel like it's like a big change here for you. Tree of Pentacles. Wow. So yeah, last card here. Yeah, master. You're, you're a master. Master is not supposed to hide in a corner. You know, you didn't come here to earth this lifetime to hide somewhere. You come, You came here to share your wisdom. You came here to be a master of something and... Very important that you step into this role. And I feel like, yeah, now it's happening. They are they are like working with this. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, okay. So pile number one, this was your reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. If you feel like sharing your story, please feel free to do so in the commentary section. Either way, pile one, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Hello, pile number two and welcome to your reading. Let's just put your tarot deck over here and we're going to start with your oracle cards. And you feel drawn to this card with a badger. Let's see what it says. And we have comfort. Comfort. So destiny will bring you this. Okay, let's see what we got here. Inner peace. Wow. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Destiny will bring you inner peace. Maybe even somebody to share this inner peace with. Look, there's two fishes here. Inner peace. Wow. Comfort and inner peace. I mean, it looks good. <laughs> it looks very good. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see what else we got here. Nothing has gone wrong. Balance. Look at this yin and yang. Nothing has gone wrong. Interesting. Nothing has gone wrong. Hmm. 
Hmm. Number seven as well. Okay, let's see what else we got. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Cozy up to the moment and snuggle into it. <laughs> Give yourself permission to enter into the pleasantness of nap time and loving, lovely dreams. Hmm. Sweet, sweet dreams. I mean, come on. Comfort, inner peace, sweet dreams. Nothing has gone wrong. Nothing is wrong. Everything is fine. <laughs> Destiny will bring you peace. I mean, <laughs> wonderful. Yeah, wow. <laughs> it seems like a dream here. Laugh with life. Come on. This is a joke. <laughs> I think this is the most positive reading ever. We have a 44 here as well, you know. Angel number shows that you have a lot of angels around you. So a lot of angels, you're laughing with life. There is abundance here. Look, there's grapes growing from your hair. <laughs> abundance is growing from you. <laughs> Destiny will bring you abundance, laughing with life, sweet dreams, inner peace, comfort. <laughs> a feeling that nothing is wrong. <laughs> I mean, what's going on? Yeah, so let's see what else we got here. Whoa, okay. <laughs> so yeah, let's just do this first. Freedom of soul, freedom of soul expressions. Funny, this card has shown up lately a couple of times. So anyways, you may be holding back from expressing yourself out of fear of losing or upsetting someone around you. But yeah, I mean, I think destiny will bring you, <laughs> bring you to a place where you freely are going to express yourself from the soul. I mean, look at this card. Laugh with life. Look how you're laughing here. <laughs> you feel free. You feel happy. Your inner child is laughing through you. You're laughing with your heart. <laughs> you feel very satisfied here. Yeah, expressing freedom of soul expression. Yeah, you're expressing yourself with this gray hat that you have on. <laughs> Let's see the last cards here. Healing. Archangel Raphael is assisting you in healing your mind, body, and spirit. Destiny will bring you healing. Destiny will bring you freedom. Destiny will bring you so much freedom. I mean, you hit the jackpot. I mean, pile number two. This is the jackpot. I don't I don't know how to say it, but this is good. I mean, if you felt drawn to this card, this is very good. <laughs> very good. It really shows the potential. It, it's in your destiny. I mean, that shows the potential for you to reach this. I mean, yeah, it will bring you this. Destiny will bring you anything that can lead you to this. Any challenge that is on your path is there because of leading you towards this. This is the end goal. This is the end goal of you. To live in the state of comfort, inner peace, where you're laughing with life, where you're expressing yourself from the soul with freedom, without fear, just with freedom, without, you know, your inner child is painting and dancing and singing and I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> you're sleeping good. You have sweet dreams here and you live your life like nothing has gone wrong. Every day you live your life in balance like nothing has gone wrong. And even if something goes wrong, you can deal with it because you're very balanced here. You can, with all this energy, you know, with inner peace, all this, like, this person that you transformed into, you can deal with anything. Like, nothing is going to be a problem. You're going to be able to deal with it in a very, very good way. Healing. Hmm. A lot of healing on your path. Wow. Yeah, so much healing. Let's see the last card. Reflect. Peer into the endless ocean and see what peers back. You are going to be like an endless ocean. Yeah, let's put it here. An endless ocean of happiness and freedom. Hmm. Happiness and freedom. Destiny will bring you anything on your path. Yeah, once again, like whatever is on your path is just to lead you here. This is your, this is your purpose. This is your sole purpose. This is the end goal. The end goal is you transforming into this. By shedding skins by healing I mean wow comfort I first thing I thought about is a house we also often have a house coming up in my readings badger very determined very strong and but yeah grounded earthly energy it makes me think comfort because we have comfort a house a stability is coming to you destiny will bring you a house somewhere to live somewhere to feel safe but I think the most important thing is you, this freedom that you have, you know, you're laughing with inner peace. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just, I feel it's just so much peace here. Hmm. And the, the, the battery also shows like working hard, 
So yeah, you you worked hard. You it's like you you're work. I think working hard, or dealing with certain things. Maybe um, the the badger also kind of is a stubborn energy. So maybe you had some stubborn blockages or some difficulties, and it could symbolize those bigger mountains that you needed to climb or that was put in front of you of from life or whatever wh whatever cause it is it came in into your life it was put there and it feels it feels like this is the the, the big reward the big harvest <laughs> that is going to be great <laughs> I, I don't want to leave this energy <laughs> i want this <laughs> yeah i want this as soon as i saw inner peace and the two, two koi fishes here i was thinking like wow <laughs> this is going to be a good reading could be that you destiny will bring you somebody to share this life with there's two of you here somebody to share this with hmm. could be the destiny is calling you to be a healer you know healing people with your laughter, with your love for life, with the the mountains that you climbed, maybe you gained wisdom, maybe you're meant to share, share this, help other people here. Wow, what's going on here? Do you guys see that? <laughs> Four cards just flew out, so let's just let's just take them. <laughs> oh wow, this is five even. Yeah, it's five. Okay, that's good. So yeah, five cards here. I just put them on top here, so they're in order. Yeah, I think it is. I think. <laughs> yeah, I just messed everything up. Yeah, I think it was like that. So, two of pentacles. Uh, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> the cards interrupted me. So, yeah. Uh, two of pentacles. Two of pentacles. Yeah, balanced. Destiny will bring you balance. It will bring you... Kind of like you can, you can juggle anything. You can handle anything. You can handle anything. Yeah, nothing is going... Nothing has gone wrong. Nothing is going to be a problem. Challenge, Yes. Problem? No. <laughs> you know, do you know what I mean? The difference is, yes, things are showing up in our lives that needs to be dealt with. Sometimes things that we don't like, but making it into a problem, you know, that is when we, when we kind of make it go up in our head and then we're just worrying and we're not solving anything. Kind of, we're just like, oh, it triggered. <laughs> but because you're not, it kind of feels like you cleared out a lot of those things. It, it kind of inner peace. You're 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 in you are living your life from inner peace. <laughs> so that means when a challenge comes into your life, you ca you're not making it into kind of a problem. You are just seeing that okay, there's a challenge. Okay, let's see what I can do about it. <laughs> let's see what I can do about it, and then you are handling it in a whole no whole different way. So I feel I really feel like yeah, and this is going to create like freedom. Like this, I, I mean, this is freedom of something, being able to deal with things, uh, not losing your balance as soon as a, a problem has presented itself to you. Yeah. So yeah, very ba balanced. Oh, what was this card? Nine of Wands. Mm. Very balanced, very stable. Very balanced, very stable. At the same time, I feel like life, destiny, destiny will bring you this. I also feel like destiny is going to make life easier for you. I feel like with the badger here, it has been some struggles for you. You needed to work hard. I think somehow destiny will bring you an easier life. Yeah, an easier life. And it, it kind of because it resonates with the person that you have transformed into. Because you have transformed into a person that is more peaceful. That means also kind of your external life is going to manifest according to your inner vibration aligning with that. So somehow your life is going to change on the outside as well and making it easier. I feel like you needed to, this is this could be the warrior pie. Maybe sometimes, maybe you needed to bring out the warrior in you, the strength in you. Maybe you needed to be determined and you needed to fight or you needed to really try, you know, to do something here. And I feel like that, destiny will bring you out of that. It's a part of your journey, but it's not the end goal. The end goal is not that. The end goal is going to be this place <laughs> where you're just living your life from inner peace. You're laughing and maybe you're working as a healer. I keep getting that. Maybe some of you are a healer. It doesn't have to be, of course. You have a lot of healing energy in your hands no matter what you choose to do with it, you know, if you want to be healer or not, it doesn't really matter. You have it in your hands. When somebody comes in touch with you, when you share a couple of words, when you're laughing, your inner child is laughing, it's very healing for people to be around that type of energy because there's so many dense people in the world. So you're, you're, it's refreshing. <laughs> you're refreshing. So yeah, you are, it's nice. It's nice to have you in the world. <laughs> so justice, 
wow, destiny will bring you out of any karma, any contracts, any deals, any agreements that you've made in the past. And it kind of feels like break it. I want to break this. It kind of feels like she's about to break this sword. And I don't know, somehow I'd like just get everything away. Hmm. Justice. Let's put it over here. Yeah. Bring you out of that. Because free, I see you free. Destiny will bring you freedom. Inner peace. You freed yourself from any bondages, from any obligations. Yeah, any obligations. Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yo, yeah, Nine of Pentacles is the retirement card. Is, you know, you have abundance. You're living your life in abundance. You're living a very comfortable life. You have everything you need on the material plane. You feel independent. You feel free. <laughs> you know, you're happy. Look at her happy here. Yeah, so this is this is what is going to be brought to you. Let's look at one more card, Queen of Swords. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, you're sitting here. Free in your mind, gazing, gazing out. Yeah, peer into the endless ocean and see what peers back. Look at you. You're looking, you're peering into the endless ocean, seeing what is looking back. So, so much space here. So much freedom and so much space. And you have your sword here. So whatever problem comes your way, you're going to deal with it now. With, with this confident, peaceful calm. Because how peaceful you are. You know, problem comes and you're like, yeah, I see the problem. I see this, this can be a challenge, you know. You're like, yes, let's take out my sword and let's see what we can do about this. <laughs> but before maybe you were like, oh no, a challenge. Oh no, <laughs> I am going to die. There's a challenge here. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I can react like that when the tower card comes, you know, two, three days in a row. I'm like, no, I don't want to. <laughs> but now it feels like here, destiny will bring you to a place where you're like, oh, look at that. There's a tower coming here. There's a storm coming here. Okay, that's fine. Let me bring out my sword. Let me just ground myself and I will deal with it. And you will deal with you with balance and like nothing has gone wrong because you can kind of keep your balance through that storm. You keep your balance through that storm. And I, I, I this, this is strange. Michelle. If somebody has, if somebody of you live in a country where you have earthquakes or storms, something with the weather, I feel like destiny will bring you a house that can withstand the storms and the earthquakes where it's safe, it's very it's safe home. Like, I don't know if it's like, it's like very sturdy, they're showing me very sturdy, or somehow it's placed in a place where there will never be an earthquake or a storm that can destroy it, is what I'm hearing. Somehow this is a gift, I hear that, oh, I want to cry, wow, that was so nice, <laughs> I touched my heart. <laughs> I felt like this is the gift from the universe. They want to give this to you. Oh, this was very nice. <laughs> yeah, I really got touched. So yeah, they're saying yes, this is because of your hard work. You deserve to live in a place where you feel safe. We're, we're this safe because I think may, maybe you went through a lot of things that made you feel unsafe in the world. And they're, they're, it's a gift. They want to give this as a gift. <laughs> so yeah, some house is going to come along your path. And it's going to be very safe for you to stay there. You're going to feel like this, like the house is hugging you. Yeah, like the house is hugging you, taking care of you. Like the land is nourishing you. If you grow anything on that land, it's going to give you beautiful fruits and flowers or whatever. Very good place for you. And I keep feeling like somebody's saying like, oh yeah, wow. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like this message is for me because when I open up my heart to receive this, I, I can't hold back the tears actually because it was so genuinely... It was so compassionate and genuinely. So I feel like this is an angel that is coming through here and really saying like, we're so proud of you. We want to give this as a gift. This is going to be a gift on your path for all that hard work that you did and maybe all that pain that you had to go through. So this will be a gift from us. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> beautiful. What a beautiful message. I want to take one more card over there. So let's do that. So yeah, I know you'd like to see, but this was on top. <laughs> six of pentacles. So yeah, six of... Oh my God, come on. Wow. <laughs> I mean, that was the confirmation. That was the confirmation. Six of pentacles, you know, receiving a gift here. <laughs> that is insane. And you're putting out your hand. You're receiving it. They want to give this to you. They want to give this to you. They want to give you comfort and stability. And I feel like they're saying, like, I feel like your guardian, I feel like Archangel Michael is coming through here very strongly. And I feel like he's saying, like, I, I feel like he's saying, I'm, we're sorry or I am sorry that I have not been able to help you through certain difficult emotions and things. 
but it was necessary for you to face them, to heal, and to free yourself from the karma. You have to face them alone. And there's, he's saying, like, we were always here next to you. We try to make it as easy for you as possible. But certain things we know was very difficult for you. But it is because of this reason. It is because you needed to deal, you needed to balance out some karma from the past. And he, he, there's so much love here. <laughs> uh, yeah, so much love. <laughs> I feel, really feel like my heart is opening. So, so much love. And don't, it's like, what, it, the things that you need is going to be brought to you, especially when it comes to the material, material, like possessions, house, money, stuff like that is going to work out for you. I really feel like they're just waiting. They're just waiting, waiting to give this to you because there's, there was there was something they needed to leave you a bit alone to deal with certain things once again like like I channeled Archangel Michael there's some things that we need to go through by ourselves because it is karma it is our responsibility as a soul and it is our choice as a soul as well it sounds so strange maybe because you know some things it's like no I don't want this I didn't choose this <laughs> you know so much pain and suffering I don't want this you know but at a higher level I feel like yeah when I'm channeling I feel like that is the case you know it's and if we don't deal with it now we're gonna have to come back and their lifetime and deal with it again and face the same people do we want to do that no you know no you don't want to do that and archangel michael and your guides here they know that you don't want to do it they know your soul's intention is to heal now maybe that's why certain things has been a bit more intense because it's there now for you and you're you really want to get rid of this but i feel like they're gonna give you they're gonna give you gifts and this house that is coming really like showing how safe you are because maybe some of you really felt unsafe or yeah, I don't know, unsafe in some way. So that is very, very important. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, wow, that went deep into my heart. So pile number two. <laughs> yeah, pile two. This was your reading. Oh, let's read a bit. <laughs> so yeah, if you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. If you feel like sharing your story, please feel free to do so in the commentary section. Either way, pile two. I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Hello, pile number three, and welcome to your reading. So let's just put your tarot deck to the side and let's look at your oracle cards. So you felt drawn to this card, orange and red. So let's see what we got here. Amber light, amber light, okay. Hmm, let's see. By taking time to de-stress your mind, you let go of fears and worries, worries, which in turn allows your emotions to become balanced. Following this, your body will heal and you will learn to deal with stress easily. Affirmation, my mind and emotions are balanced. Amber light. Amber, I don't know, I just, I don't know but this card gives me really a sense of peace. Yeah, a sense of peace and magic. Beautiful, amber light, looks like a beautiful, you know, sunset here, or sunrise. And this little rabbit here enjoying this, enjoying it. Hmm, with a sense of peace. So yeah, let's put it over there. Let's see what else we got here. So destiny will bring you this. Opportunity, wow. Opportunity, beautiful. Destiny will bring you an opportunity. Hmm. Opportunity, okay, let's see what else we got soul song wow that's powerful opportunity soul song okay hmm soul song your song is the soul is singing its song hmm okay provision provision okay hidden within your soul <laughs> Yeah, you got soul song here. <laughs> so anyways, hidden within your soul are tiny thought seeds that, given the right care, can sprout into newly found abundance. Wow. Trust the ways of your soul to bring you what you seek. <laughs> you will find that all your daily needs are met as you listen to your heart's whispers. Even small dreams you haven't yet anticipated can become real as an everyday experience of beauty. Let stressful thoughts fall away. Trust the ways of trust the ways of your soul to bring you what you seek. Hmm. Newly found abundance. Destiny will bring you. Provide you. Look at provision. Destiny will provide. Destiny will provide you good things. 
abundance. Destiny will bring you abundance. Yeah, destiny will bring you abundance. <laughs> okay, let's see. But you got an opportunity here, so opportunity. Hmm. And with the sun rising here, we got the moon. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Let's continue. Howl with fierceness. Wow, we have a number one here also, you know, new beginning. So yeah, howl with fierceness. Wild. There's a wild energy here. Wilderness. Destiny will bring out the, I wouldn't say rebel in you, but kind of the, because rebel, yeah, rebel without a cause. <laughs> yeah, you know, but yeah, yeah, I wouldn't say rebel because you don't feel like you're rebelling, but kind of like free, you know, destiny will bring you Bring, I would say bring this out of you. Look at this. The woman here with the white wolf. I feel like this, this is you. You know, connected with nature, with your ancestral roots. Yeah, with your ancestral roots, with whatever previous lifetime, shaman or priest or priestess or whatever you have been, spiritual things. Kind of connect yourself with that. Connect yourself with your ancestors. Fierceness. Because you're not rebelling, kind of. You're not a rebel, but you are... You're in nature. What are you doing there? You move. You move to the nature. You're living in the forest, maybe. <laughs> there's a forest here. It feels like you're with it. There's a door here and a house here. So I mean, kind of feels like you're you're living somewhere. Oh, look at the waterfall. <laughs> Greece. Yeah, I don't know why Greece always shows up, shows up in my reading. Greece, Portugal, uh, Spain. Uh, yeah, some of those countries. Uh, um, Turkey, maybe even. Um, but yeah, in Bali, I was thinking of Bali now because of the flowers here. So anyways, there's some, there's some house for you here. Provide abundance. Destiny will bring you abundance. Like, it kind of feels like you can, you can manifest like a lot of things for yourself, but something with a house, a home, provide beautiful, but it kind of feels like wilderness. You're, you're in nature. That's why maybe Greece and Spain and these countries came out because it feels like you're near water here. You're near water freedom, uh, your roots, your roots, your soul roots, previous lifetime roots, you're getting something from this place, you're living a sacred, kind of sacred place, sacred life, it's holy, look at this, it's just the way you look at the sunrise here, it kind of feels like, you guys see this energy here, it feels magical, magical, yeah, magical life, sacred life, holy life. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like the place that you're living. Soul song, your soul is singing. Howling, singing with fierceness, wilderness. Yeah, wilderness. How do you say that? You're you're becoming wild. Yeah, wild and free. You know, wild is uh, <laughs> very sexy energy. <laughs> yeah, being wild and free. I really like that. You know, people that are wild and free and they're living kind of very you know in touch with nature it's very nice because there's something wild i don't know there's feathers in your hair and you are talking to your ancestors and very spiritual here like that <laughs> so let's see what else we got here wow look at that fire purging process you may currently be you make <laughs> you may be currently experiencing emotional discomfort that is disrupting your inner peace process wow yeah that looks like a mess you know wow okay so i'm sorry i'm taking up this card one million times so maybe that it's it's really important to amber light here but look at the piece here and look at the mess here so i mean yeah and this card talked about thoughts wasn't it de-stress your mind let go of fears uh and worries which which in turn allows your emotions to become balanced my mind and emotions are balanced so you're going from this you're going from this. This doesn't look balanced. <laughs> this looks intense. You know, you're de dealing with emotions and thoughts that are not balanced. It's a purging process. You're purging this. And then this comes. This is the reward. This is where destiny will bring you. No more. <laughs> no more chaos. <laughs> no more purging. You know, just this. Magical. Living. You bought your little cottage. Yeah, it's a little cottage here. Nepal. Yeah, I have so many countries showing up in my mind now. Yeah, maybe Nepal, uh, India somewhere, maybe even. But somewhere, like, I see, like, a little village, like, a little cottage, little village. It doesn't have to be a village, but it feels... I'm getting, like, this cozy, cozy feeling. And being somewhere where you have roots. So, your soul, your soul is singing when it's here. <laughs> yeah, your soul is singing of joy when you are there. 
So if you're not, if you don't, if you're not connected kind of to that place in this lifetime, there's other lifetimes. Maybe you feel drawn to certain countries because of that. You have a very strong connection to that country. So wilderness, wild and free. Hmm. Respect. Come on, another. Look at that native Indian. And oh, wow, look at this card. <laughs> look at this big white eagle here. Thinking about the ascended master that is called the White Eagle, that is a native Indian. So yeah, this probably shows him. And but respect, you're being guided to respect the decisions and opinions of others. I I feel like, hmm, hmm. I feel like you are gaining respect. Yeah, I think I feel like destiny. Okay, so let me tell you a story about myself really quickly. So seven years ago when I had my awakening, I bought a van. Yeah, I bought a van and I lived in it. And uh, I, then I, I did it like very strange things for my family thought it was very strange or in my, my friends as well. At that time, it was like, yeah, you're living in a van. That's strange, you know. But for me, it wasn't strange. Uh, at all I was feeling very free you know living in a van is wonderful <laughs> and uh, yeah and now you know and all those things that I went through all these spiritual things that I've been doing and purging and healing and I, I it, it took me a while you know but after after a couple of years into my journey when I really started working spiritually I started to gain respect from the people around me because they could see that I had changed and they could see that whatever I am doing is helping me and also helping other people. So I feel like something like this is on, Destiny will bring you respect. Respect in the way, and not respect in a way that sounds like, oh, I'm gonna respect them like from fear. But look at this, respect from a place of like, see, looking at you with kindness and respecting who you become, who you became. Like I would say, I would call, I want to say honor more than respect. Like, but yeah, I maybe like certain people that, in your family before was like criticizing you or like telling you certain things i feel like you're going to make them yeah you know, like destiny will bring you to a place where they won't question you and what you're doing instead i feel like some kind of curiosity in what you're doing because they it seems to be working whatever you're doing it seems to you are this alt i would say like you destiny will bring you to live your life kind of in an alternative way yeah, a very alternative way. I keep feeling like this rebel, but not a rebel. <laughs> because a rebel, you know, has something they want to rebel against and fight. And I don't feel like you're a fighter. I feel like you're a lover, <laughs> you know? Like the native Indians, you know, you're you're doing your thing. You're in the nature. You're doing your thing or you're doing your... Yeah, you're just doing your thing. But it feels like it's going to be different from things that other people are doing maybe around you. And maybe even the way you're living or the way you want to move or you maybe want to have two, three houses. I don't know. But yeah, you're going to, destiny will bring you to bring out your soul and make that one, make your soul sing and howl with fierceness with your white wolf here. Wow. You know what? Maybe you have a pet. Maybe you have a little pet that you have a very strong soul bond with. It doesn't have to be a wolf, of course, that's a bit difficult. But yeah, maybe like me, I'm a little Nessie. So yeah, maybe you like a little cat and uh, uh, that is with you. Uh, and yeah, so if you haven't met this pet yet, it, it could, that destiny will bring this pet to you. Destiny will bring this pet to you. It could be a dog, it could be a cat. I don't know, it could be anything. But something, some, some, some pet that you have some kind of soul bond with. And I feel like this pet is protecting you. I would say, maybe not protecting you, but yeah, just like company. Yeah, it feels like company. Like, yeah, your friend. This is your friend. <laughs> so with you, with you. Purging process feels like something that you're going to just go through to get here. Go through to get here. And... I don't know. Some of you, you know what is calling you. I feel like the jungle is calling you. Or the forest is calling you. The wilderness is calling you. The nature is calling you. And you have so much connection and so much wisdom and so like ancient knowledge when it comes to the old civilizations and places kind of in the world. And uh, I feel like tapping, destiny will bring you to tap into that, to not just tap into that, to awaken that within you and to live aligned. I keep here, live aligned with nature, live aligned with nature. This is when you, where you're going to feel the best when you're living your life aligned to nature. And because of this 
I feel somehow that once again you're living your life differently like yeah differently mm. and you're meant to do that you will gain I think you will gain like a lot of respect and honor from the people around you some of you are becoming like some of you it's in your destiny to become some kind of shamanic teacher or healer you know yeah shamanic teacher or healer and I keep feeling like I keep feel I want to hug you. That's what I feel. When I tap into this energy in your soul, I feel like I want to hug you because your energy feels, I would say, divinely masculine. Yeah, like a divinely masculine energy. So probably this is, keep looking at this white eagle here. And I think this white eagle ascended master is very close to you. Very, very close to you. Hmm. You have both, you know. You have shamanic lifetimes you know as a man and as a woman so you have both this divine feminine and divine masculine energies connected to this hmm. let's see the last card here communicate wow things left unsaid will never reach the shore but yeah i think you're meant to i think you're meant to cooperate with your guides with your your ancestors white eagle comes through so strongly now <laughs> yeah it's like yeah talk to us <laughs> we are here you know, we are here. We are here to help you purge. We're here to help you with whatever, with whatever. But opportunity here, what is that? <laughs> what is that opportunity? In the forest with the moon, amber light opportunity. Kind of looks like this rabbit is looking at something coming here. Something coming, something calling maybe. Yeah, with communicate, maybe calling you. Hmm door opportunity and a door underneath yeah opportunity to open that new door hmm. and howl with fierceness wow i really like this energy <laughs> so let's continue with some tarot cards here let's see if we can get any wiser or some more messages go deeper maybe who knows okay i want to do it like that let's see what we got the Wheel of Fortune, <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, look at this Pocahontas here. <laughs> you see that? What is it? It's a, I think it has a lion's body. I don't know if this is called in a certain, called a, this creature is called something certain, but the lion's body and the Pocahontas upper body <laughs> and the Wheel of Fortune, the snake, and look how fierce you are here. Fierce, native, wow. Yeah, this is, this is, has definitely to do with reconnecting you with your ancestors destiny will bring you your ancestors too but the wheel of fortune and opportunity we felt like there was a lot of abundance coming to you as well a lot of luck a lot of abundance hmm. i i keep looking at this opportunity card and i want to channel what it is but when i try to channel it it's like i can't <laughs> it's like it's a secret and i become because it's a secret i become even more curious it's like what is it and now we have wheel of fortune showing also that it has to be something fun behind that opportunity the wheel of fortune yeah there's going to be something nice there so some secret is coming in here destiny will bring you something that we have a hard time unfolding now and it seems to be something very good an opportunity maybe an opportunity that will lead you to be able to gain the money that you need to buy this little place here or something like that opportunity no it's something else something is hiding oh i can't see it <laughs> yeah i just feel like it's hiding <laughs> ace of wands wow so yeah ace of wands hmm ace of wands new new power yeah new power <laughs> i got it <laughs> new power new power by connecting yourself to your ancestors and they they can you're channeling their power you're channeling their wisdom you're channeling like all these things. <laughs> you're, yeah, wow. King of Swords. You're meant Destiny will you're a channel for your channel for these things. Uh for these ancestral energies. They want to fill you up with this energy. Hmm. King of Swords. Communicate. Yeah, I keep feeling like some of you are really called to be a shamanic teacher, to go into the jungle or the forest. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see, let's put this over here. Let's see what else we got here. Three of cups. <laughs> Look at you dancing here. Celebrating. Celebrating the tribe. Yeah, your tribe. Your meant destiny will bring you your tribe. 
Mm. Could be three people specifically. Three people, three very important people for you that you have in your life. But yeah, I will bring you your tribe, Page of Wands. <laughs> yeah, maybe some of, one of them plays guitar. Maybe you play guitar. But anyways, Page of Wands. Page of Wands. Let's see, let's do the rest of the cards actually. Queen of Cups. Wow, these cards are so beautiful. <laughs> and the last card here is Five of Swords. Hmm. Five of Swords. You're being guided to respect the decisions and opinions of others we have here with respect. So it feels like with King of Swords and Five of Swords, you will be able to handle kind of... There's an old man here. Five of Swords, you know, somebody that can be, you know, manipulative and stabbing you in the back or, you know, have harsh words, harsh words towards you. But with King of Swords... It's like, yeah, no, so you can handle this easy. <laughs> I mean, and Queen of Cups, no problem at all. So, yeah, hmm. Let's see here what else we got. Page of Wands, Queen of Cups. Destiny will bring you this. You're meant for kind of, I really feel like many of you are meant to shift. Like, you really, like, you started out your life in one place, and then your life ends up in a completely different place. Yeah, you started at one place and it's going to be something different here. You're, many of you are going to feel called to, to live. There's a, there's a, you have an inner rebel in you. Yeah, that's true. You have an inner rebel in you. I think like for you, Pile 3, it feels like you're never going to be satisfied with a small life or kind of like, I don't know. It's like it doesn't, you don't feel like the type that wants to maybe have a husband and kids and you know a little little house and a little car and you know all these things and you work every day and you do this normal life nothing wrong with that it's beautiful you know everything is beautiful it matters how you feel inside of yourself but i kind of feel like you need something more to feel fulfilled and i feel like what you need is this connection this connection with nature. You're deep as a person. You need like some kind of deeper meaning with your life. And without also kind of creating your life the way that you want. So I feel like maybe the opportunity here showing is a secret opportunity. I keep feeling it. Secret, secret opportunity is going to be like a door opening up. Destiny will bring you this. And this secret opportunity here, I'm calling it secret because I can't channel it. Probably this is in my own energy and that's why I can't see it because, yeah, I'm, I'm blind for my own thing sometimes, you know. <laughs> I haven't opened that door myself yet, so it's hard to see it coming for you. So anyways, so I feel like some life, it will bring you something and this will lead you to, there is a calling or something, an offer or something, an opportunity, and this will lead you Dun, 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 step by step or something like that to create this life for you where you're living your life in a totally different way totally different way yeah huh. i keep feeling your aunt this ancestral your spirit guide so close so so close hmm embark on a new adventure live your life like a I would say like a like a like a guru. Like, like a guru sounds so strange, <laughs> but like live your life like a you know like like okay like say let's take Greece. You bought a cottage, you know. You write books from home, or you you have your own business and you you're creating soaps or whatever you're doing from home. You found a way kind of to uh, make money, or maybe you retired and you know all these things. But it kind of feels like yeah. And then, you know, you walk out, you eat at your favorite restaurant and you meet some people there, you talk to them and you're like this, they meet you and they see you as like, wow, well, who was that? And you give good advice and they're so healing to be around you. So it's like you're walking around being connected and being some kind of spiritual teacher without kind of having to be in that role. You know what I mean? But like kind of living that life, doing your thing. Yeah, destiny will bring you to do your thing. What makes your soul, soul sing? To live your life in the way that your soul sings. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think we're going to stop there. So yeah. So pile number three. This was your reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. If you feel like sharing your story, please feel free to do so in the commentary section. Either way, pile three, I wish you all the best. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>